smaller and smaller, then they're not so good. There is no baby uh, that will ever know the difference between 9 and 10. These numbers are too close together. But it's not quite as simple as you might think. According to Stan, which is most extraordinary, the way that they're actually experiencing quantities is not just a dumbed down version of what adults do, it's a completely different version of what adults do. Mm -hmm. They seem to care about the logarithm of the number. The what? The logarithm of the number. He means logarithm. Yeah. Sorry, my English is getting really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, logarithms. I don't know if this will scare the people who listen <laughs> to this me. show. It scares me a little. But yeah. it's actually not that bad. Uh, you can think of it in terms of ratios. First think about you. Meaning? Us. How we think about numbers. Okay. Imagine in your head the distance between one and two. Okay. What is that? One. Right. Now <laughs> imagine the distance between eight and nine. One. Also. They feel like the same distance from each other. But that's because we think of numbers in these discrete order chunks. One, two, three, four. But now, if you were to think about it logarithmically, like the baby, the distance between one and two is huge. It's this vast space. And the distance between eight and nine, ooh, tiny. Why? Well, because one to two is double. Uh. But 8 to 9... It's a ratio of close to 1. It's a bit tricky, but the gist is, if you're thinking in ratios, uh -huh. you're starting at 1, then you multiply by 3 to get to 3, uh -huh. and then, hey, hey, you multiply by 3 again to get to 9. So those are equal jumps on either side. Huh. 3 is to 1 is 9 is to 3. Get it? Yeah, well, it's such a sophisticated way to go about thinking about it. Yeah, to us. But not to them. That feels intuitively simply like the middle. Dozens of people did this without hesitation. Mm. I mean, this experiment gives me chills. These are the numbers that we all, for want of a better word, naturally feel. At least that is that has been my uh, theoretical claim for many years. Hmm. And I don't, I don't quite know how to phrase this question, but is there some? Is it? Almost like the way we think about numbers with with an equal distance between one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is wrong. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't go too far. <laughs> I don't talk to Susan Carey. I'm a professor of psychology at Harvard University. And she said that numbers as we think of them today are certainly made up. Those are human constructions. And even someone at odds with how we feel numbers are doing. That's right, they are. <laughs> so there is the problem. Then how do we ever come to understand the numbers we know now? Uh, that's a that's a sixty-four thousand dollar question. She says it happens gradually. Okay, don't touch the microphone. Over a couple of years. Can you count? Yeah. Let's see. One more quick introduction. That is 